When someone mentions World War II, do you groan and think, oh, I don't want to hear about World War II, but it happened such a long time ago and it doesn't have anything to do with me. Did you know that swing dancing and swing music, similar to that played by Brian Setzer and Big Bad Voodoo Daddy, was popular in the 1940s? Even some recent movies, such as Swing Kids and um, Pearl Harbor, are based on 1940s events. Since most war movies are portray the roles that men played during the war, today I'm going to share with you the roles that women played during World War II. There are three ways in which women helped the war effort during World War II. They worked at home, worked outside of the home, and enlisted in the military. One way in which women helped the war effort was by working at home. To help the soldiers, um, women rationed food and supplies. They cut back on their use of sugar, canned goods, silk, and gasoline. The canned goods and sugar went to feed the soldiers. The silk was used to make parachutes, and the gasoline was used to fuel tanks and airplanes. When the military had a shortage of aluminum, women donated pots and pans so that the military could make tanks, planes, and artillery. Another way in which women helped at home was they grew victory gardens. Victory gardens are just normal vegetable gardens. Um, carrots, beans, cucumbers, that sort of thing. But the reason that women planted this, these was because they thought that if they grew their own food, they wouldn't buy so much food from the store, and the store food could be used to feed the soldiers. Now that we've seen how women helped from their homes, let's see how they helped outside of their homes. A second way in which women helped the war effort was by working outside of their homes. Before the war started, not very many women were employed. According to the um, U.S. Census, less than 14 million women were employed in 1940, compared to 42 million um, men. Um, when women worked during this time, they were usually teachers, secretaries, or librarians. But during the war, a lot of men were either drafted or enlisted, so um, a lot of the factory jobs opened up and no one but women were there to work. So women became crane operators, hydraulic press operators, tractor drivers, and miners. According to Conrad Stein, author of War That War the Home Front, by 1944, 40% of the workforce in aircraft assembly was made up of women, and 12% in shipyards. In 1945, 19 million women worked, compared to about 46 million men. So now the um, ratio is getting a little closer. And um, if you compare that to today, when um, 65 million women worked in 1999 compared to 75 million men. Now we have seen how women helped the war effort by getting jobs. Let's see, let me tell you a third way in which women helped. A third way in which women helped the war effort was by enlisting in the military. In the early 1900s, the Army and Navy Nurse Corps were started. And according to Susan Hartman, author of Home Front and Beyond, during World War II, 31.3% of all active nurses were women. And Doris Weatherford, author of American Women in World War II, stated in her book um, that by January 1943, all the branches of the United States military included women. Now, not only could they be nurses, they could also be radio operators, um, secretaries, and storekeepers. But although women um, were not allowed in the military, they, um, they had to meet higher standards and also be older than men to enlist. And they couldn't be, um, they couldn't actually use guns and fight in other countries. For example, my grandmother was in waves and 
I think she was positioned in Texas. But she couldn't be, even though she went to two years of college, she couldn't be a commissioned officer. She had to have a degree to be a commissioned officer, so she was a non-commissioned officer. On January 26, 1945, Japan surrendered. This um, defeat might not have been possible without the help from women at home, at work, and in the military. Not only did women have an effect on the outcome of the war, um, it, women also had, the women of the 1940s also had an effect on our culture today. Because if women had, if the women then had just gone back to their um, housewife positions after working in the factories, there might not be so many women with college degrees today.